SNP leader Stephen Flynn. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I, I think all of us in the chamber are united in our relief at reports that hostages are due to be released by Hamas in yeah. Gaza. But we can't afford to lose sight of what comes at the other side of the temporary pause in hostilities that we are about to see. At the end of four days, do we simply see the return to the killing of children in Gaza every 10 minutes? Or do we choose in this House to instead back a permanent ceasefire? Yeah. 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 Prime Minister. Well, Mr Speaker, we do welcome the agreement reached overnight. And as I said, this is something that we have consistently pushed for and is a crucial first step as we try and resolve this situation and, indeed, the humanitarian crisis in Gaza. Of course, we want to see all hostages released as quickly as possible, including British nationals, and I would urge all parties involved to deliver the agreement in full. Uh, I would also like to put on record my thanks to Qatar for their important role, and we will continue to work with the United States and Israel to ensure the safe return of hostages and maximise the opportunity of this temporary pause to step up aid to suffering civilians in Gaza. It is something that we have pushed for, we have continued to do, and the UK is playing a leading role in delivering. Stephen Flynn. M Mr Speaker, ultimately it is not a pause in the killing of children that we need. It is an end yeah. to the yeah. killing yeah. of children yeah. that we need. And I can think of no better time than now for the Prime Minister to advocate for that permanent ceasefire. But given that he will not currently do that, Will he instead lay the foundations for that two-state solution by finally recognising the state of Palestine? Yeah. Yeah. Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, actually what the agreement that has been reached demonstrates that it was not right to have a unilateral ceasefire, and what was right was to do, as we have done, consistently push for a pause that would allow not just for aid to reach the people in Gaza who desperately need it, but also for hostages to be released. That is what we have pushed for, and I am glad that that is now being delivered versus a unilateral ceasefire, which would have emboldened and strengthened Hamas. And our position on the Middle East peace process more broadly is clear. We do support a negotiated settlement, leading to a safe and secure Israel, living alongside a viable and sovereign Palestinian state. I have spoken to President Abbas and met with him to discuss this issue, and we are clear about strengthening the Palestinian Authority and reinvigorating efforts to find a two-state solution. And our long-standing position is that we would recognise the state of Palestine when it best serves the interests of peace.